In a new Formula 1 programme that's going far from smoothly, Audi have had yet more issues today. There have been rumours for quite a while now that there was some internal politics between the leadership of the team and the car company. Things really seemed to have hit ahead for the team last week when it was revealed in the press that Andreas Seidel, who was the CEO of the Formula 1 team, had fallen out with Oliver Hoffman. Hoffman had been part of the Audi car company for many years and had been parachuted over into the F1 team at the start of this year. And what seemed to have made the situation worse is that up to the point that Hoffman was brought in, Andreas Seidel, since the start of 2023, was the sole man in charge of the Audi F1 project. He'd been given the sole aim to build the team up gradually, up until their entry in 2026. And when we had the restructuring, it just seemed to be that there was too many heads at the top and they were clashing. Things really seemed to hit boiling point when it hit the press this past week, when it emerged that Andreas Seidel and Oliver Hoffman had really taken a disliking to each other and had no agreement on a way forward for the Formula 1 team. Reports were even being leaked that neither one liked the other and they were actually trying to work the Audi CEO, Gernot Dolner, into getting rid of the other. But it's got to the point now that instead of the Audi CEO backing one man over the other, he's actually drawn a line in the sand and sacked both of them. I think this is also clear that it's built on the massive underperformance of the current stake F1 team despite the financial resources of Audi and also the failure to hire some significant bodies. People have been looking at the F1 project at Audi and thinking that it's not for them and for a major manufacturer like the Volkswagen Audi group this is not something that they want to be seen as. This should be an exciting project that engineers and drivers are lining up to join. And so far, the acquisitions for the Sauber F1 team have been very minuscule compared to their rivals. The performance on the track has been absolutely terrible, as they're the only team this year not to have scored a point, and so far they've not brought any updates to the track that have improved the team's performance. They also made structural changes to the pit stops this year, which over the first half of the season so far has had nothing but pit stop errors and wheel gun problems. And operationally, there seems to be question marks over the team leadership, as it looks like Alicia Aluna Bravi will soon be out of his position, with rumours already linking Aston Martin's Mike Crack to the team as the new team principal. So it seems that Audi think that the serious issues embedded in the team, and now is the time to make a change, while they've still got a year to right the wrongs. The biggest failure for the team so far publicly has been the fact that Carlos Sainz has been unwilling to sign for the team, despite them being one of the biggest automotive manufacturers in the world. Being that he doesn't really have many better options on the grid come 2025, it seems a bit strange that a driver that's on the verge of free agency and not having anything lined up, other than back of the grid, is willing to turn down one of the major car manufacturers in the world because he has doubts. They have secured the signing of Nico Hülkenberg, which did seem to be very much an Andreas Seidel signing. Although this did seem to be linked with the fact that Audi were insistent on having at least one German driver in their lineup. So at least if all fails, Audi do have a capable pair of hands in one of the cars coming into 2025 and the Audi launch in 2026. As at their current rate at the moment, it's not beyond all realms of possibility that they may have to back a rookie next season. They were also linked with a move for Adrian Newey, but this was laughed out of hand as the most unlikely move in the paddock, and it was even seen that it would be more likely that he would go to the Alpine F1 team than Audi. But then this can't be a massive surprise to Audi as one of the biggest problems that BMW had when they owned the team was getting top talent to move over to Switzerland. There's not many top level talent out there that would be willing to relocate their whole entire life over to Switzerland when the majority of the motorsport and F1 world is based in England. And so despite the vast resources and budget available to the Audi F1 team in the future, they've only made a few key position hires. But so far, because of the circumstances that are embroiling the team, these key positions have been few and far between. But they have secured the signing of Stefan Strands over from Mercedes, who joins as the new programme director. Whilst former McLaren and Red Bull man Stefano Sordo is also joining the team. And joining him is former Red Bull chief mechanic Lee Stevenson, who has decided to make the jump over to Hinwheel. And so on top of the huge news of Andreas Seidel and Oliver Hoffman departing the project, came the massive news that Mattia Bonotto had been hired as the new Audi F1 team CEO. In what will probably be a bit of a slap in the face to Andreas Seidel, Mattia Bonotto has also been given sole responsibility for the Audi F1 team, with the message being clear from the Audi board that he's got sole responsibility and accountability for streamlined and quick decisions. Which the reason why this may sting Andreas Seidel slightly is because up until the point that the Audi car company parachuted Oliver Hoffman in, Seidel himself had such free reign for over a year. 
But one of the reasons that has been reported that Audi snapped up Mattia Binotto is because of his experience of leading a Formula 1 team previously at Ferrari that was in charge of both chassis and engine development. In fairness, I always think that Mattia Binotto was one of the most responsible people for putting Ferrari in their current position and I think he was unfairly treated when he was fired from them. And it was only going to be a matter of time until someone of the experience of Mattia Binotto had been picked up by an F1 team. He had already previously been linked with the Audi F1 team and the Audi project, so you do have to wonder how far back the Audi doubts may go. He was also previously linked with the Alpine F1 team boss role to try and sort out that sinking ship, and then most recently, only a few weeks ago, he was linked with being the main CEO of the Aston Martin Racing Company, which, as it later turned out, that job actually went to Andy Cowell, the ex-Mercedes man. One of the biggest hurdles that he may have to get used to at the Audi F1 team is the fact that here he's not going to have the engine plant and the chassis plant on his doorstep as he's going to have to get used to a split operation where the engine is designed and built in Germany whilst the team and the car is all built in Switzerland. But hopefully now that they've got new leadership at the top of the team they can start pulling in the same direction and start sorting out some horrendous results. At worst at the moment, Sauber are facing the fact that they may not score any points during the 2024 season and this car will also form the basis of their 2025 season. And although everything at the moment is all portrayed as an interim period while Sauber is running a stake F1 ahead of a full rebrand in 2026, can Audi really be seen to be owning an F1 team that is the bottom of the grid? They clearly have one of the biggest budgets in F1 and they will be hitting the budget cap not to mention the fact that they will be also hitting their full allowances on their capital expenditure, ready to build the team up for 2026. But on the other hand, we do have to add that not everything here is Audi's fault. Originally, when they entered into this partnership to take over the Sauber F1 team, it was supposed to be over a phased period of three years, where they were going to take a 25% share each year. The takeover should have all been originally completed in 2025 ahead of 2026, But their hand was then pushed by the fact that the previous shareholder in the team, Finn Rousing, wasn't prepared to go and put investment into the infrastructure of the team when it was going to be something he wasn't going to own anymore and he was going to have no gain. Once the full takeover had been completed by Audi, he was only going to be a minority shareholder and so Audi came across a stumbling block where they were going to have to stump up all the money for the infrastructure despite not owning the team. So earlier this year, despite a wave of rumours that Audi were preparing to sell off their shares in the team or can the whole F1 project entirely, the decision was actually made to speed up the process so that they could purchase 100% of the team so that they would be in control of the infrastructure investments. But while there seems to have been all of this um and ah and about who was paying for what, this is seen to be what caused the team to fall back and lack development. So Mattia Bonotto really is walking into the lion's den as he's got so much to sort out straight away. A clear decision needs to be made over the team principal role and whether they're going to remove Aluni Bravi who's really titled as team representative and if they are going to bring in Mike Crack a decision will need to be made so that he can do his gardening leave. You would assume that Mattia Bonotto will also join the team with a wealth of contacts in his contact book in people that may be looking for a new opportunity either inside or outside of Ferrari as he has a wealth of experience in the paddock. And maybe the biggest thing here and the biggest shot in the arm for the Audi project will be Mattia Bonotto joining the team and convincing Carlos Sainz to join. Carlos Sainz and Mattia Bonotto have previously worked together at Ferrari and seem to have a good relationship. And so could this be the one thing that finally convinces Carlos Sainz to believe in the project? Technical resources and finances are not an issue for this team. It's just really a clear lack of direction and politics that seem to be undermining things so far. And with 18 months ahead of their scheduled arrival, Audi have got plenty of time to sort things out, but really need to start getting their arse in gear. And now. So with this shocking news of the Audi F1 team getting rid of their two head honchos and Mattia Bonotto joining the team, let us know in the comments below what you think of the Audi F1 project and do you think it's all a bit of a joke at the moment? Personally, at the moment, it doesn't seem to be anything like their most fiercest rivals Mercedes in running a team and seems to be more aching a Toyota project. Politics, infighting, uncertainty, all seems to be reeking of Toyota or even Jaguar at the moment. As always, thank you very much for watching one of our videos and please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget also to subscribe to the channel for future Formula 1 content.